Hi students. Now in this video, we have started a new chapter of biology of cross stem that is life processes, and this is very important chapter. And here we understand about all the processes of the life here. So first come to the simplest meaning of the life process. Uh, so here I write here on the board the basic def activities performed by an organism. The basic activities performed by an organism to withstand its life are called life processes. Right? Life process is nothing but the different types of activities. So what are those activities here? I write the process is essential for the maintaining the life. The activities which are very essential for maintaining the life of organisms on the earth that is called nutrition, respiration, transportation and excretion. So in this chapter we are learn all these four things that is how the nutrition are takes place, the process are takes place, how the respiration process takes place, how the transportation process takes place and how the excretion process takes place. So if all these processes are uh, run correctly, properly then we call it as an activity, basic activities. If any one of the activities is not run properly, then you observe that it is formation of the disease and maybe the organism is affected. The organism growth or maybe the organism life may be affected if the, any one of these activities not be run correctly. So here in the life process chapter, we have to go through for definition here clearly. So in definition they tell about that the basic activities. Basic means these are the essential activities. This is a basic, for example, take another one that is a reproduction. Reproduction. So reproduction is not basic or basic essential. Reproduction is not essential. Maybe organism reproduce or maybe not reproduce. They are not be affected on the life process. But these are four activities which are right here. That is what nutrition, respiration, transportation and excretion. There are essential important activities. Right, so nutrition is very important for the organisms to get in the food. So one by one, if I discuss about that, so I take more time here. So shortly, I did shortcut I discuss here. Then later in the videos, we are uh, careful and totally study about the one by one with the particular diagrams. Now I shortcut I introduce about the nutrition, respiration, and transportation and excretion here. So come to the first point, uh, nutrition. So when you, we know that nutrition is nothing but the, the taking of food, right? taking of food so in the nature you observe that food taking food organisms are taking the food in the different types so in the lower classes we study about the uh, mode of nutrition that is common for us not a new word the mode of nutrition so the mode of nutrition we are study about uh, autotropes and heterotropes different organisms are different types of mode of nutrition maybe some follow autotrophic mode of nutrition and maybe some follow heterotrophic mode of nutrition the detail we are studying in the Dutch classes. But here, uh, in directly we are in the know that the nutrition is about taking of food. So why the organisms are need to take the nutrition? The simplest answer is to get the energy, right? To get the energy, right? To get the energy. So organisms are required food. So if having if the organisms are no energy, then we know that there is no energy in the body. So for running of the, all the activities, maybe respiration, maybe transportation, maybe excretion and maybe growth of the body, cell division, cell development, new cell growth, right? the height growth, all these require, all processes are require the energy. I am moving my hand, so I require energy. I am walking from one side to another side, so I require energy. I talking in the video means I require energy. So these all energy sources we are get from the food. So nutrition is the very most important and first uh, stage of the life process that nutrition. Without nutrition, all the processes are not taken properly. If nutrition is disturbed, if the nutrition is disturbed in the organisms, if the organisms are not to take the proper food, so not, no proper energy is developed, and if no energy means automatically the chain is disturbed then the trans respiration disturbed transportation system then the excretion system so chain is there chain one by one chain is a disturbed so that is why the nutrition is a very important and basic process that is what taking food and get the energy so why we require energy why organisms are require energy the answer is direct to maintain the life process to maintain to maintain life process for maintenance of fire process, the energy is very important. If you not take food one day, two day, you feel that you are feeling weakness and then slowly the, your body is not able to work anything. 
not able to study, not able to do any physical work, not able to do any mental mental work. So that is what I've totally affected by with the absence of only one process that is nutrition. So nutrition is very important. Now, if the organisms are taking food from the outer atmosphere, right, that is we call it as a nutrition. So taking of food from the atmosphere, maybe it is autotrophic or maybe heterotrophic, maybe it is herbivorous, maybe it is omnivorous, maybe it is carnivorous. Taking of food is nothing but called totally called as a totally it is called it as a new taking of food nutrition. Now the common thing when study about the organisms, all the organisms. So all the organisms maybe take the herbivorous, maybe they carnivorous, maybe they are omnivorous. But the common thing is that all the food, okay, all the food sources maybe from the plants, maybe from the animals. So in this sixth standard, we are study about the different types of types of food, animal food and the. Uh, plant food any food is there maybe animal food maybe plant food all the food have one common thing that is all the food is a all the food all the food is a made up of made up of carbon carbon molecules right all the compound all the food what we taken are composed of the carbon molecules for example carbohydrates glucose right these are proteins, again proteins nothing but water, the, uh, with help of carbon the proteins are prepared. These are nothing but water, uh, all the compound having the carbon, all the food having the carbon. So the organisms are taking the food from the atmosphere, right? The organisms are taking the food from the atmosphere, from the surroundings in the two form, two types of food. One food is having made up of carbon made food, that is all the food which are taken by the organisms from the outer environment it is made up of the carbon molecule first point and the second point it is oxygen oxygen is also important it is oxygen one food is that is what all the food is made up of carbon mo molecules and the second one oxygen that is come here in respiration right come here in respiration taking of oxygen here this ought to be called as breathing taking of oxygen and gives out carbon dioxide this is called breathing process and the respiration is somewhat some complex process now after the nutrition we, uh, some, uh, we uh, study about nutrition nothing but taking of food and the food that taking by the organisms in these two forms one is uh, the food which is made up of carbon molecules and another very essential food is uh, oxygen so in the question paper question is there like one question is there uh, what are the outer raw materials used for the, by an organisms so I write here what are the what are the raw materials raw materials used for used for by an material used for by an organisms organisms so what are the outside raw materials used by outside raw materials it is a outside raw materials used by the organisms for the completion of their nitrate nutrition process so that is nothing but the answer what is a carbon carbon based food carbon based food and oxygen right this is the very important answer so that is shortcut which type of raw materials is there which there are list of materials that is uh, plants food animal food herbivorous there are so many things but to shortcut the all the common thing about the uh, plant food and animal food the common thing is that is all the food is made up of carbon based molecules and second one they require oxygen so both are very important here so please uh, note this point here uh, what are the basic raw materials used by the organism carbon organism that is also is carbon based food one and second one raw materials is a oxygen so that is very important so we know about the carbon based food so carbon based food is carbohydrates all right carbohydrates and starch that is nothing but water the energy giving food that is we know in the six standard lower classes carbohydrates are having energy giving food so that is very important carbon based because of we require the energy for maintaining the life process and the energy giving food nothing but carbohydrates and carbohydrates nothing but water a carbon based compound right so that is what about the carbon based compound and then oxygen which is present in the atmosphere which we get from the lungs that is also very important now we take as oxygen detail about the respiration so please note this point 
okay now come to the another one that is a respiration shortcut i am going here so in the nutrition there are different types are there i can take next videos that is nutrition and autotroph heterotroph saprophyte parasite i take next video but i shortcut introduce all these concept right so now come to the respiration so in respiration i tell that the second raw material which is the need for the life process that is water oxygen so oxygen is take oxygen is nothing but taken by the process of respiration so respiration process through this oxygen is taken into the body i transport and used to break down the food right so oxygen is very important for process of oxidation oxidation of food oxidation of food food means when we take the food then during respiration respiration is nothing but the breakdown of the glucose molecules when we take the food the take the food is breakdown into glucose and that glucose is converted into the energy in the presence of oxygen that is breakdown of the molecules in the presence of oxygen that is an oxidation and the reduction reactions are take oxidation and then reduction reactions are take place in the uh, oxidation for then the chemical reactions actually the chemical reaction which are takes place in the body one is oxidation and one is reduction the two types of chemical reactions are there one is reduction of reduction of food oxidation and one is reduction chemical reaction the two chemical reaction which are performed in our body so in examination they ask name the type of chemical equation which is take place in the body that is what the oxidation and reduction and then oxygen is nothing, the respiration is nothing but the transport of the oxygen for the breakdown of the glucose into energy so that is a very important process and the, for this process we observe that we use the lungs which are present in the chest cavity inside the rib cage and this is the about oxygen so two raw materials one raw material is get from the nutrition and the second raw material is get from the respiration then come to the transportation that is the combination of res respiration and the nutrition when we absorb the food when we take the food the energy is formed and then using the uh, oxygen the energy is formed then that energy now transport to the every part of the body that is called uh, transportation so there are two types of transportation is there that is what uh, transportation is done by the blood in our body in higher organisms so blood is transportation agent right so in lower organisms sorry uh, unicellular organism lower means uh, unicellular organism unicellular organism organisms this transportation is done by diffusion process right so diffusion process you know that the moment of the molecule from higher concentration to lower concentration this diffusion process is taken place in the uh, living organisms why this here diffusion means because 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 they are directly because they are directly contact with the contact with the outer atmosphere out uh, environment that contact with the environment that on environment so in the transportation system there are two types one is for the lower organisms unicellular organisms and one is multicellular higher organisms in the unicellular organism the transportation of food the digestion materials for example amoeba that is taken place by the diffusion process through the cell membrane through the unicellular or single cell so the cell membrane that is called diffusion means that the why this happen because of their body shell is directly contact with the environment so they are enable uh, able uh, so they are able to transport the uh, the digested food and the waste from the outside the body to inside the body inside the body to outside the body with help of transportation that is what the diffusion process that is important but transportation in higher organism for example in human beings the diffusion process is not in not sufficient that is insufficient so in the higher organisms in the multicellular organisms we observe that this diffusion process is insufficient why the answer is so let's come to the next point please note this point in a organisms and come to the next point in multicellular organisms this transportation in multi multicellular organisms that is diffusion process diffusion process is insufficient because the because the multi cellular organisms are not 
directly contact with the outer environment right it is not possible us to be absorb the oxygen from the dead skin counter because our skin is not directly contact with atmosphere which is covered by the another tissue so it is not be possible so that is why we use the blood as a so in this case diffusion is not possible means in this case we use the blood so blood is nothing but transportation material into the in the uh, multicellular organisms a liquid is nothing but the transport system here food air water and the blood are very important uh, diffusion uh, very important transportation system or body that is we call it as a heart is an important transportation organ in our body then come to the last point that is Uh, excretion. So excretion, I think, but the process of uh, removal of the byproducts and the waste from the body. It is removal of the waste. It is removal of the removal of uh, waste and uh, byproducts. What is byproducts? Byproducts mean after the digestion, after the respiration, we get the byproducts. For example, in respiration, we get the byproduct carbon dioxide. We take oxygen, and the byproduct is carbon dioxide. That is the waste removal of the waste. That is nothing but the removal of the urine. Nothing but excretion. So, what is excretion? Excretion is the process of removal of byproducts and waste from the body. Is called excretion. And in the excretion, we study about the kidneys. Okay, pair of it. Kidney. So these are what are the very important, the basic and essential activities. If any one is disturbed, means all the chain is disturbed. So this is the shortcut I have explained here. What is the nutrition? Which type of food is taken? What is the respiration? And again, I repeated the concept definition again when we separately study about that. When we separately study about nutrition, when we separately study about the respiration, in that time I give the detailed definition, detailed the definitions of all that. But here some very important point you have to remember shortcut that in the nutrition. The Energy we get, okay. Then the energy is nothing but to maintain the life process. And the food which we taking is made up of carbon based molecules, and the oxygen also required for that. So the basic, the raw materials which are required for life process, sir. One is carbon based food, and one is oxygen. Then the time to respiration is nothing but the, the transport of the oxygen and the, the digested food to the every part of the body. So the reaction takes place in the body is two types. One is oxidation reaction, and one is reduction reaction. Then the transportation in, in transportation there are two types of transportation. One is in the unicellular organisms, and one is in multicellular organisms. In the unicellular organisms, the diffusion process taken place because of the cells are directly contact with the environment. But in opposite, in multicellular organisms, the diffusion process is in Efficient. Why? Because of uh, in multicellular organisms are not directly contact with the environment. They require a particular organ. They require a specific organ that is we call it as a heart, right? So here yeah, everyone either air lungs required, here is a heart required, right? Next come to the excretion. It is the removal of process of removal of unwanted waste and waste from and byproducts from the body, and uh, that is done by the pair of kidneys. Right, uh, anus, uh, the small intestine, and then uh, the lungs. So that is a uh, part about excretion. So all these are the shortcut part. Now in the next video, we are take a detailed view of nutrition, and the another video we take detail of excretion, and the another video take detail about transportation. And the transportation, there are two types: the transportation in animals and the transportation in plants. So there are two parts. So we make the two parts and two videos. One is transportation in animals. We study about the heart. Function of heart and then transportation of and plants. So we are take function of xylem and the function of phloem. Then excretion also we take two part. What is excretion in plants and excretion is animal. So excretion in animal we animal we take about the kidney and the excretion of plant we take about the uh, excretion in plants also taken. Right. So these are what different parts we have to study both about the first animals and then about the plants. So that is very important and maybe long chapter and maybe take more videos. So this is the first video of this chapter. So in the first video, we are come to know about the basic definition of the uh, life process. Then what are the important life process? We have solved almost the four starting four question of the exercise. So okay, when you go through exercise, we observe that all the points are covered. So the other is the uh, first and introduction part of this chapter. And then in next video, we are take the nutrition concept. Okay.
सो थैंक यू फॉर दिस वीडियो एंड देन सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल लाइक द चैनल टू एंड क्लिक ए बेल आईकॉन टू गेट माई नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑन दिस एक्सक्रीशन प्रोसेस एंड ऑल्सो इन्फॉर्म दैट इट इज नॉट नॉट माई फर्स्ट वीडियो आई ऑल्सो मेक दिस वीडियो एंड द फर्स्ट चैप्टर केमिकल इक्वेश एंड रिएक्शन एंड ऑल्सो आई मेक ए वीडियो ऑन दिस एसिड्स बेस एंड सॉट कम्प्लीटली टू वीडियोज आर टोटली कम्प्लीटेड सो टू चैप्टर आर टोटली कम्प्लीटेड इन दी टोटल लेवन वीडियोज सिक्स वीडियो अबाउट एसिड्स एंड फोर वीडियोज अबाउट नियरली सिक्स टू सेवन वीडियो अबाउट एसिड बेस आर and the four video are on a uh, chemical equations and reaction so please go and watch those video also which are very helpful for you in this uh, lockdown uh, season so thank you for watching this